Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel, Kai and Mommy's Journey. Thank you so much for tuning in to yet again another video. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, I'm going to need you to go ahead and do so right now. If the subscribe button is right on your end, you guys are doing something wrong. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl. You know you love us over here and we love you back. So... Um, in today's video, I just wanted to just come on here and talk to you guys, just vlog a little bit. Um, I went to work today. Um, by the way, happy Friday, everybody. Happy, happy, happy month Friday, okay? Happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday. It's Friday, okay? It's payday. Um, it's a lot of things to just to be, like, happy about. It's another day to be blessed, another day to be grateful, no matter what um, everyone is going through, no matter our situations, all of those things are just still still a reason to be thankful for. If you woke up this morning and you have breath in your body, if you woke up this morning and you were able to see another day, if you woke up this morning and you were able to go to work, if you woke up this morning and you were able to see your kids or your child or your significant other, that is enough right there to be grateful and not have nothing to complain about. Despite the hardships and obstacles of life, listen, we are all still truly blessed at the end of the day. Um, and if you're able to use every single limb in your body, Okay, your eyes, your legs, your hands, your arms, your ears, your mouth. Okay, that is enough right there to be truly, truly grateful. But yes, you guys, I didn't come on yesterday and post a video, you guys. I was like, kind of like, you know, in a mood, I guess you could say. And I don't want to ever come on here and be negative with you guys because I want my channel to be based off trying to just be positive and give back Good vibes only, okay? Period. Good vibes only to you guys. And I never want to come on here and like bring off or brush off any negativity that I may be going through or, may, or that I may have on my heart at the moment. So I just won't come on and post at all, you guys. That's just me. And I'm just doing that because I feel like that's that's just the best thing for me to do. And I don't want to start off doing that, um, coming on here when I'm, you know, mad or pissed off or I'm having a fucked up day. Excuse my language for, you know, anybody that has kids watching, just cover their ears. I do apologize, babies. Um, my daughter, Makai, is not in here right now, you guys. So the other parts of this channel, Kai and Mommy's Journey. A lot of times when I'm vlogging or if I'm coming on here doing a, a chat with me, if I'm coming on here doing a story time, she won't be in those in those videos a lot of the times, you guys, because um, they're either, you know, too adult for her or she's somewhere with with my um my nieces or nephews or she's playing or just being a kid um a lot of the times too she'll be with her godparents on the weekends so if i vlog on the weekends and you do not see kai kai don't be alarmed or don't come in the comments coming for me saying oh you never have your child where is kai listen i always have my baby okay and i work too i don't just sit here and record on youtube okay i work i work two jobs okay simple all right. So I am very busy. So no, I can't always post. No, I don't always have her with me, but she's very loved. I love her and I do the best I can to take care of her. And if that means mommy got to work two jobs and that's what I got to do. So that means a lot of times we're not going to be together. Period. Okay. Off of that, back to what I was saying, you guys. Um, yeah, today's Friday. Friday. Okay. So happy Friday, everybody, um, to each and every one of you guys in your prospective places. I hope everyone is having a great evening, a great afternoon, wherever you are or whatever time of the day it is when you watch this video. Um, I just want to come on here and just um, give you a little bit of like kind of like a story time, but kind of more so to like uplift um, someone who may have been going through or went through the same similar situation as me. So I'm going to be honest, I don't have... Um, I wouldn't even say not even the best, but I don't have no type of relationship with my biological father. Okay, you guys. Um, I'm an adult now. I am a mother now, and I do not have um that kind of strong relationship with my father that I have with my mother and that I wish and that I should have with him. Now, the reason for that, you guys, is um just throughout my life, even when I was a kid. He chose not to be active and be proactive. He always had the mindset of, oh, well, you know, you should pick up the phone and call me. A five or a six-year-old or a two-year-old or a four-year-old don't know how to pick up no phone and be like, hey, dad, um, I want you to be in my life. Um, I want you to come um, to my school dance. I want you to come to my um, birthday parties. I want you to come to my school function or my daddy-daughter dance. No, 
end of the day, you laid down and you helped conceive me just as well as, you know, my mom did or whatever. So you need to pick up the slack as well. You need to do your part as well, too. Now, um, for many years, he loved to play. He loved he has loved to play the victim and loved to manipulate the situation. So long story short, I'm not going to give you guys all the back history and all of that good stuff because it's going to be a long story time. But no, we're not going to do that or a long vlog. Um, but anyway, so for a long time, it was like he'll pop in maybe every five years, send a, send a little $80. That was his magic number, y'all. Let me tell y'all. Let me fucking tell y'all. $80, y'all, was his magic number to send your girl, okay? I could be like, oh, you know, my mom could, like, relate to him, like, oh, you know, your daughter needs X, Y, Z, right? And he'll hit her with, oh, I'll send her, um, I'll send you some money or whatever. So we always thinking, we don't ever know what amount it's going to be. We just think it's going to be enough to cover the expense of whatever that I need at the time and the moment, right? It's all, it was, y'all, it was always $80. Always fucking $80. <clears throat> I swear, I don't know what this man thought or whatever, but for a long time too, he never paid child support, you guys. He never paid child support. I'm only, I'm sorry talking low because the kids, they're out, out there playing upstairs in my sister room. And I know if they hear me talking, they're going to come try to come in here. But anyway, you guys. For a long time, he didn't pay child support. And go upstairs. Go upstairs. For a long time, he didn't pay child support, you guys, because my mom was trying to do it the right way. Or, try, or what I say, not not, the, not even the right way, but she was trying to be nice, okay, and lenient. Because let's just put it out there. He had other kids, okay? Two other kids. Um that he chose to meet but I was the first one okay now if you're not even doing right by your first child why the fuck excuse my language again why the fuck would you go and have more kids that makes no sense no sense at all to me I I can't I don't I don't understand that logic at all but okay that's beyond the fucking point secondly after you know he wasn't paying or whatever he wasn't helping financially like a lot a lot like he should have then that's when she took the precautions and said listen i gotta put my fucking foot down i'm gonna take that ass to court and we're gonna go ahead and do it this way and the court is gonna make your ass pay the court only made him pay 25 dollars, y'all a month and you know what that is because the nigga went his ass in there and motherfucking lied talking about oh he don't work Oh, he don't get, um, he don't have no income or whatever. That's a fucking lie. The nigga was a mechanic getting paid under the table. He was, he's very great with cars, still good with cars. Okay. Here I am now an adult to the age where he don't have to pay child support. Okay. Now I'm not looking for no money. I'm looking for that. I'm, I'm only just coming on here. Like I said, to encourage anybody or just tell my story. Okay. Um, maybe I can be a help to somebody else, but Fast forward to 2019, I'm an adult, like I said, now I'm a mother now, right? So it's been like, I want to say at least five years, you guys, since I talked to him. Last year, I'm not going to lie, he did reach out to one of my cousins on his side of the family, right? That has me on Facebook. And the cousin wrote and was like, hey, um, hey, cuz, um, your dad... Y'all see my fingers, right? Quote, unquote. Your dad said that um, for you to call him. Here's the number. I said, okay, cuz, thanks for giving me the number. But honestly, there's nothing for me to talk talk to him about or call him for. Because honestly, what is there to, what is there to call you for? End of the day, my grandmother has had the same phone number. Even if you so-called don't have no other way to get in contact with me because you don't have my number or whatever. My grandmother has had the same number for over 50-something years. She has had had her house for over 50-something years. My grandfather has passed away and gone, and everything has is still stay, stay the same. You know when a person gets old, they keep everything stay the same, like the house, the way it was furnished, all types of, all that, all that shit, okay? Phone number two has been the same for over, like I said, over four decades, two, two and three decades, okay? Um. So, anyway... I didn't reach out when when the cousin when, when when the cousin gave me the phone number. Okay, I chose not to because just I didn't I don't I just at the time I wasn't ready to open that door and I just knew I was never gonna get what I wanted. And y'all, you guys are gonna say, well, what did you want? Because some of y'all are, I know gonna be smart asses and gonna say, well, what well, what she expected? Because y'all some of y'all don't ever or haven't been in the shoes of a of a of a fatherless um girl. Okay, who is now a fatherless adult. Okay, um, but I thank God. I want to just say I thank God for my mother. Thank you so much, mom, for um, everything that you have done for me, everything that you do for me. And I don't want to get 
all sad or whatever because I am I, this is a very emotional topic for me to talk about but I just wanted to come on here like I said and just to encourage and just um, uplift someone else who was going through it or feels like why are they not good enough or why didn't he love me why didn't my dad love me why didn't he want to be a part of my life you know end of the day now I look at it and it's just like it's his loss his loss um, I'm an adult now and I try to be the best mother that I can be. My mom was the best mom that she could be to me. She sacrificed her whole life and everything in her life for all her kids. But especially, um, I feel for me because I didn't have my dad around. Um, Ooh, it's sensitive subject, you guys, because I just don't get how somebody can make a child and you don't be a part of their lives and then you leave it the mother basically like stranded to have to answer un- unanswered questions or different feelings that that child end up in- ends up growing up to want to know or feeling empty or just have all these different things that 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 they don't understand okay because that other parent is not there and they see other kids growing up and seeing other kids have both parents or seeing their dad come to their school functions or daddy daughter dances like I said um proms different things like that Okay, now, um, I want to say, it's October now, right, you guys? Okay, so September, he called, you guys. Um, I have the exact date in my calendar, but I'm not going to go all into that or whatever. But anyway, in September, you guys, I want to say, like, the last week of September, he called me. Now, he called my phone directly. Now, the reason why he called my phone directly is because my grandmother decided to give him my phone number. Now, now all of a sudden you can reach out to my grandmother's house phone and say, Oh, I've been trying to get in touch with my uh, daughter. Um, but she haven't called me. I haven't, I haven't heard from her or haven't heard from her or whatever. So can you have her call me or can I have her number? So my grandmother being my grandmother, she gave him my phone number because she's always been an advocate trying to make me feel like, Oh, you're going to need your dad one day. Yes. Granted, it's been a lot of times right now in my life. And even, you know, in my early uh, years in life or whatever, my teenagers, I have needed my dad 100%. I'm not going to sit here and say I didn't. I've needed my dad, but he was not there. I'm not going to beg somebody to be in my life. Nobody, friends, family, parents, my other parents, nobody to be in my life. Because at the end of the day, that's your loss. You know what I'm saying? Um, You only, you can't make some. you can't keep somebody, to, keep somebody around that doesn't want to be kept or doesn't want to be around. You know what I'm saying? That goes for anybody, a man, a friend, whatever. Dads too, okay? Excuse me. So anyway, um, trying to make this short and sweet, you guys, because like I said, these kids. Um, but anyway, so he calls or whatever, and I didn't answer. He called, I didn't answer. I let it go to voicemail. So he left the voicemail. He was like, "Hey, um, this is your dad. Oddly, um, I'm calling to see if, um, you know, if you were around or whatever, so we could talk. Talk about what?" Ugh. So, anyway, right there, that makes me pissed off because it's like, why are you wasting my time? I already know you're not calling to say anything useful. You're calling to just irritate me. And that's kind of like what he does. He's very good at that. He calls to work me up, irritate me. Um, and then when I start trying to say what I want to say, you guys, or say how I feel, um, because as a child, I couldn't say what I wanted to say because then it was coming off as I'm being disrespectful. Even now, he still feels like, oh, years later, fast forward two decades later, um, he wants to come in and, and play daddy role, okay? Nah, bruh, you don't get that fucking option to play motherfucking daddy to me. I'm a grown-ass woman now. I take care of my motherfucking responsibilities on my own, okay? You haven't been a fucking dad. And the least that you can do, honestly, the two things that I really felt that he should be trying to do, or the only thing I want for him to do is to be a better grandfather, okay, to my daughter that than you was a father to me. And two, give me an apology, for being a half-ass dad, half-stepping every time when it came to me, but never half-stepping when it came to any of your other fucking kids. Always me, though. Always me being made to feel like the stepchild, you guys. And it's just, at this point, I'm done. I'm fed up with it. So I'm not going to have anybody in my life that wants to half-step or don't want to be the fuck around. Period. I don't need nothing from you. So it's like, you're not benefiting for being in my life, honestly. You're wasting my time. You're waste of fucking time. And that's just how I feel. Call, call me disrespectful. Call me, oh, that's that's that, that's um rude. You shouldn't say the end of the day. That's still your dad. Nah, fuck the end of the day. My mom is my dad. My mom is my mom. My mom is has been both my fucking parents. End of the day, that's the only one who's gonna who earn who has earned my respect and will get my respect. Period. 
So anyway, you guys, so he calls again after I didn't answer the first time he called, right? So that day, it was like the weekend. I think it was like a Saturday. He tried to call for a second time. So I just said, fuck it. And I answered it. So I said, hello, whatever, whatever. So he's like, yeah, um, I've been trying to call you, whatever. Did you get my um other calls? I said, yeah, I got them. And so he's like, so you wasn't going to call me back? So I'm like, mm, no, because ain't nothing to talk about, period. So that's what I said. And I just left it like that. Ain't nothing to talk about. And I was going to hang up. So he's like, wah, wah, wah. Cause so, my, so just to let you guys know, my dad, my father is Jamaican. That's his ethnicity. So my mother is African-American. My father is Jamaican, right? So if you guys have been watching my other videos and as time goes on and you see a lot of my vlogs and my videos and my or my chat with me or whatever, you guys are going to can tell or catch on quick that I talk fast. Um, That's just something that I inherited from his side, whatever. Um, so yeah, so I'm like nothing to talk about. So then he goes into saying, so it was a, so then argument, so then the argument or the conversation turns into an argument because I just wanted him to basically apologize and just take full responsibility for him not being a father, right? He didn't want to do that. Okay, cool. So I'm going off because I'm pissed off now. You're wasting my time. Um, my daughter was in here playing with her toys or whatever. I had to, I had to ask her and my niece to leave because I started crying. Not because... Okay, I was hurt, yes. I'm not going to say I wasn't hurt. I was hurt. I was, and me, I cry when I'm frustrated. So when I'm frustrated and, like, I feel like at this point, it's no more talking. I want to, like, put my hands on that person. Then now I'm crying because I'm frustrated. And he's not here for me to, like, slap the shit out of him. And that's honestly what I felt like doing, slapping the fucking dog shit out of him. Because it's like, here you are, damn near your motherfucking 50s, probably 60s. And you're here acting like a little ass kid, still blaming it on me as to why we don't have a relationship at all. Talking about, oh, I asked, I asked, I asked for this. I asked to not have a dad in my life. I asked to, to be, um, without a father. Like, y'all, when I tell you y'all, sis, just blaming it, straight up blaming it on me, the child, end of the day. At the end of the day, I'm still your child. End of the day, you're still the what? Parent. So that means that the parent has to take up those things and those, um, those, those, um, things that he felt, those shortcomings. Okay. So he fell short on all those things, calling, reaching out, being proactive. Stop blaming that shit on me. That's not my motherfucking fault that you didn't reach out. You wasn't doing your part as a dad, period. Just say, listen, I was a shitty dad. I'm sorry. Um, I want to make it up to you or let's start over. Can we start fresh? Da, 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 da. Or you know what? Since I was a shitty father, let me now try to be a better uh, male role model because I really don't even want like a father from him relationship i just want like maybe like a male role model or like um just be a grandfather to my daughter because that's honestly that's what markaya deserves you know what i'm saying but no so he starts yelling and trying to like over talk me and shit and that's not gonna happen so excuse me y'all i had like itch in my nose so i'm like um that's not gonna happen at this point you can't sit up here and try to dictate my life now no what goes on in my life and what I do with my life is my motherfucking business. Because you don't pay my bills. You don't finance me. None of that. Okay? I do all that for myself on my own. So, he, so then, long story short, whatever, my mom ended up coming in or whatever during the time when me and him were, were arguing on the phone. Because she heard a lot of yelling or whatever. Um, I thought she had left out or whatever. But she came in the house and she came in my room and she heard me yelling and going off and stuff. She's like, what's going on or whatever? And I was like, I was telling her, like, look, I'm so frustrated because this man here, he is sitting here trying to put all the blame off on me. So she kind of intervenes. It was like, well, let me talk to him or whatever, because in the day we're both your parents and we both laid down and made you. So let me talk to him and see what, see what was really good. So then now he's like, oh, you know what? You know what? Me never call no more. Me not call no more. Me not call no more. Okay. Bye. Bye. Deuces, nigga, you don't have to call. You don't have to call no more. Because we never call you either, okay? So, that was that or whatever. And basically, like, nothing got resolved. Nothing got, um, I didn't get any closure. Nothing got, nothing got closed. Nothing. So, I just want to come on here, you guys, to just end that story time. Basically, like, let me tell you how my sperm donor blamed the lack of relationship that or the non-existent relationship on me you guys um that's basically the story time for today um comment down below you guys if you like um story times or if you would want to hear more story times from me um i have a lot more story times you guys some of them will be funny some of them will be things um that happened in my life some of them will just be things that occurred you know as me 
at work or whatever, different jobs that I've had throughout the years. Let me know, you guys. Even as being a um a mom, you guys, um, I have a lot of story times, funny ass story times about that too, you guys. So if you guys want to know or have or get more story times from your girl, okay, just comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that motherfucking subscribe button if it's red on you and you're doing something wrong. Period. Simple. Okay, sis. We love you over here. And I just wanted to come on here and encourage somebody that do all that. The message and the, the lesson that I got. Sorry, message. But the lesson that I got is that I'm worth I'm worth it. I am good enough. Um, I am that okay. I'm strong. I'm beautiful. And he just lost out on everything. He lost out on seeing seeing his daughter be the beautiful, prosperous woman that I am. And thanks to my mom, she gets to experience all that, get to see all that. And she will reap all the fruits of my motherfucking labor, period. So when I go ahead and I make it and I make it and I may start making that big money, don't worry, mom. Your oldest got you, okay? Um, but the message for anybody else who is watching this video um, who has, who doesn't have, or who had, who may not have an existing relationship with their parent or their other parent or both parents or whatever, um, the case may be, just know that you guys, I love you and we're going to get through, get through this together with a lot of prayer, with a lot of strength and, um, keeping our head up and just know that our crown, our, our crown may tilt, but that shit will never motherfucking fall. And if it do pick your motherfucking crown back up and put it back on your head. Okay, sis. Um, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much, you guys, for the few subscribers that I do have. I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you that have subscribed to Kai and Mommy's Journey. Come along for this ride, y'all. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. We're going to have more vlogs, more mukbangs. Um, this is not strictly an eating channel, no. This is more of a a mom and a child channel, Um, a mom of one child, okay? Um, you will see, like, my family. You will see me, you know, out in the different stores or whatever. I'm going to try to bring you out more with me, you guys. Just my daily life. Like I said, I do work, you guys. I do work. So, a lot of times, if I don't post, that is that is the reason why. And like I said, also, too, I don't want to come on here and be negative. So, if I don't post, it's one or two of those three reasons why. Um, once again, I love you guys so, 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 so much. Let's go ahead and grow this family. Become one of the loyal butterflies because you, you guys are all my butterflies. I love you. We love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.